Which would you choose? Is it this incredible four bedroom duplex in Nordic Estates? What about this three bedroom townhome also in Nordic Estates at Castle 2222? Or is it this sub million dollar two bedroom townhome in Alta Vista? These properties just hit the market in Whistler, so let's have a closer look. Welcome back again to Dean's top three listings that have come on the market in Whistler this week. Now, this first one is a duplex that is uh, listed by Tracy Cruz with the Whistler Real Estate Company. And this is uh, a duplex on Aspen Drive, which is in Nordic Estate. So if you're just pulling into where uh, the Rimrock Cafe is, you go up that uh, street on Nordic and then you hang a left onto Aspen Drive. And these are all duplexes down on that street. Uh, so this is uh, the unit here. It's this half. Okay, so I'll just give you the details here. It's listed for $2,199,000. It's just a hair over 2,000 square feet, and it's a four-bed, three-bath built in 1992. And yes, it does have a one-car garage here. So again, it's this half of this duplex. And uh, it's actually a pretty uh, quick walk over to Whistler Creekside uh, from this area. So it's a nice spot to be in, especially having uh, the Rimrock Cafe right there. So uh, this is uh, your living room here. You've got the kitchen just off of it. And then the, the deck itself has got a nice glass covering on it too. So uh, that's the uh, living room, obviously. Um, nice area to be. And then you've also got uh, sort of some warm wood tones throughout this uh, kitchen has not been renovated this is original uh, but that's fine you can put your personal touches on this for sure you can see out the window here you've got similar homes across the street that are duplexes as well uh, so let's just go through the photos here so again this one's been uh, uh, it has a glass cover that was put over top so it's not glassed in but it's got railings and you are covered so that's nice you could be out there in the winter if you wanted to and you wouldn't have any snow uh, falling down onto the deck so uh, again kitchen living dining right here and let's just move on to the bedrooms and uh, again you know you can see that this is uh, 1990s era uh, interior but that's fine uh, the home has been really well taken care of and there is some new construction next door I think there's a uh, six plex uh, eight plex being built next door so there you have 2246 Aspen Drive that's the master actually with the uh, they've got a big big soaker tub in that master that's actually kind of cool so we get a shot of that oh it's green oh, the green pretty cool uh, and then you also have in this bathroom uh, a wood stove. Hmm. That's cool. All right. So, oh, back to here. There are views of uh, the top of Whistler in here, and that's the peak of Whistler right there. So views from this one. Okay. Now let's move on. We're going over to uh, 112 at 2222 Castle. Okay. So this is uh, an end unit here. It's listed by... Lindsey Graham with the Whistler Real Estate Company. Three bed, two and a half bath, built in 1994, uh, 1,479 square feet, 1,749,000. Okay, so it is uh, this unit right here. Okay, so it's an end unit, which is quite nice. So you've got living, uh, you've got uh, the dining room, uh, the kitchen, sorry, is just behind this wall. So it's not really an open concept, but I actually kind of like having the kitchen and dining just separated. Uh, sometimes it works well. So there's your, um, there's your kitchen. And then if you just look beyond that, the dining area is right there. And then you've got a deck just off of it. And then this just faces the, uh, the parking zone and uh, the entrance. You can see the parking right here and you do have that deck off the top. So uh, this is a nice area in Nordic. Castle Drive is in Nordic Estates. And you can actually, um, there's a little trail that, uh, if you know where it is, um, you can ski down to this neighborhood. And you can also walk back out pretty easily to get to uh, Whistler Creekside. And so uh, I'm not going to say it's a quick walk, but it's probably, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes and in ski boots to get over to Whistler Creekside, but there is a ski in trail if you know where it is. So once you've uh, moved in here, you can have some fun exploring and trying to find that guy. 
Okay, so that is uh, number 112, 2222 Castle Drive. Now let's move over to our final one. This is listed by Jeff Hume with our company, the Whistler Real Estate Company. Two bed, one bath for under a million bucks, 975,000. It's built in 1994. Now this is number 111 at what we call Alta Vista 2. Okay, so admittedly, these kind of look like a motel. <laughs> okay, so you park out front and then you've got some doors leading into the units. There's units down and there's units up in these. And then there's several buildings in this complex. So just across the way over here, you've got uh, another similar building. But it's a really uh, well done complex. It's in Alta Vista, super duper close down to Alta Vista Park. So you can go down to the beach there and the dock and everything. Um, and it's a really, really well done unit. So this has been renovated. Uh, I don't believe this is a recent renovation, probably maybe five years ago. But uh, this is just about the only thing in town for um, uh, that's a two bedroom for under a million dollars, 975000 Okay, so these cannot be nightly rented. Uh, you have to um, just be residentially using this. So if you were like a weekender from Vancouver coming up here looking for something, uh, this would be fine. Uh, but you cannot do nightly rentals on it. It's not zoned. It's only zoned residential. So uh, if you did want to do rentals, it would have to be like a monthly rental thing to a, you know, a family who's going to be using it for the winter or something. So you can rent it. You just can't do Airbnb. Okay, so these are our top three listings for this week in Whistler. Uh, these are my top picks, and uh, we'll catch you next week. If you have any questions on these, certainly hit me up in the comments below, or my contact details are down there too. For anything you're seeing online, uh, I'm here for you. I've been in the real estate business in Whistler for over 25 years. We'll catch you in the next video.